In this video, we'll show you how to set up supplier payments in Sage50 accounts. Once onboarded with Modular, log in to Sage50 accounts using the manager login details. To set up supplier payments, click settings, then select company preferences. Enter the password for the manager account and click log on. Now select supplier payments. If you've not yet applied for a Modular eMoney account, click the sign up link in step one and complete the application process. If you've completed this already, go straight to step two. As part of the setup process, a new bank account is required in Sage50 accounts to link to your Modular eMoney account. To create a new bank account, click new, then enter a new nominal code in the account ref box. Now press the tab key on the keyboard. The new bank account is automatically named Supplier Payments e account. Amend this if required. To complete the process, click Save and then OK. To enable supplier payments, select the checkbox in Step 3 and click OK. You'll be prompted to log in to your Sage account. Once logged in, a new window opens to link your Sage company to the Modular eMoney account. To do this, first select the required company from the list, then select this checkbox and click Link Account. To complete the setup process, click OK. The Supplier Payments module is shown in the navigation bar on the left. Assigning Supplier Payments to Suppliers Once you've set up Supplier Payments, check your Supplier Records contain the required information. To do this, click Suppliers, select a Supplier Record you intend to pay using Supplier Payments, then click Edit. In the Details tab, check the following details are entered. Account, Company name, which must be the full company name, Street 1, Town, and Postcode. If these details are not entered, manually enter them. Next, click the Bank tab to check bank details are entered. Acceptable combinations of bank details are account name, sort code and account number, account name, IBAN and BIC, or account name, BIC and account number. If bank details are not shown, manually enter these. To save the changes, click Save. To return to the supplier list, click Close. Repeat this process for all suppliers you intend to pay using supplier payments. You must also assign the correct payment method to the supplier records. The payment method can be applied to multiple suppliers in one go. To assign supplier payments to only certain suppliers, select your first supplier, then holding down the control key on your keyboard, select the other suppliers. To assign supplier payments to all suppliers, from the main toolbar, click Clear, then click Swap. All suppliers in the list will be selected. Once the relevant suppliers are selected, click Batch Changes. Select the Bank tab, click the drop down for Payment Method, and select Supplier Payments. To save the changes, click Save. To assign the payment method to the supplier records, click Yes. You'll be returned to the supplier list. The payee status for each selected supplier is now Requires Submission. Submitting suppliers for approval. Once the correct payment method is assigned in each supplier record, the suppliers need to be submitted from Sage50 accounts to be approved as payees in the modular portal. To submit supplier records for approval, 
From the navigation bar, click Supplier Payments. Log in with your Sage account login details if requested. In the Payees section, this box confirms there are payees requiring submission. Click the arrow to the right. The Payees window opens, listing all suppliers awaiting submission. To submit the selected supplier for approval, click the Submit button. If the supplier record has been completed correctly, the supplier is removed from the list. Repeat the process for all remaining suppliers. Once all suppliers are submitted, click Close. In the Payees section, this box confirms there are payees requiring approval. To view these payees, click the arrow to the right. To close the window, click Close. To update the payee status in Sage 50 accounts, click Refresh. To see the new payee status for suppliers submitted for approval, from the navigation bar, click Suppliers. The payee status for each submitted supplier is Requires Approval. You're now ready to approve these payees in the modular portal. Approving payees in Modular. Once payees have been submitted for approval from Sage 50 accounts, they need to be approved in the Modular portal. To do this, log into the Modular portal with your Sage account details. Each time you log into the Modular portal, you'll be prompted to authenticate access in Authy. To authenticate access, open the Authy app and follow the on-screen instructions. Once authenticated, your modular account details appear in the account section. To approve your suppliers in modular, from the navigation bar, select approvals. Then click beneficiaries. Your suppliers are listed as pending beneficiaries. To approve a single beneficiary, Select the radio button to the right of the supplier and click Approve. To confirm the approval of the single beneficiary, click Approve again. You'll be prompted to approve the beneficiary in Authy. To do this, open the Authy app and follow the on-screen instructions. To approve all beneficiaries at once, select the radio button at the right of the column headings and click Approve. To confirm the approval of all beneficiaries, click Approve again. You'll be prompted to approve the beneficiaries in Authy. To do this, open the Authy app and follow the on-screen instructions. Once approved in Authy, the suppliers appear in the Beneficiaries section of Modular. To return to Sage50 accounts, select the Sage50 icon from the taskbar. To update the payee status in Sage50 accounts, from the navigation bar, click Supplier Payments. To update the status of payees, click Refresh. To see the new payee status for approved suppliers, from the navigation bar, click Suppliers. The payee status for each approved supplier is Approved. You've now learned how to set up supplier payments in Sage50 accounts and approve them as beneficiaries in the modular portal.